Hello and welcome to today's show. We've got a great show for you today. We're going to be hunting in East Tennessee on my farm, hunting with a little 243 with ammo that we've made. You don't want to miss this. Folks, I got a treat for you today. We're going to try to make one of these with one of those. This Lee loader is over 50 years old. My dad had it when he was a young man. First thing that I need to do is take the casing and get the old primer out of there. Now we've got presses and all that kind of good stuff, but if you're on a trip in the backwoods and you don't have your uh, press with you, you can always use a Lee loader, take a rubber mallet and make your own ammunition right there on the spot. Okay, what we're getting ready to do next is take this primer out of the casing. And it's a very simple procedure. We've got a tool with a sharp point on it, and that's going to go right in there like so. We're going to put it into the hollow base. All we need to do is wrap it just a few times gently. We're through with the tool. You can see that the primer has been removed, and we're ready to put a new primer in this thing. Now before we do that, there's always some residue left down into the flash hole. And what I'm going to do is just deburr that a little bit, clean it out. That looks good. And we need to take the casing and take the burrs off of any of the cases on the throat. A simple turn there, a simple turn on the inside. And everything's clean and we're ready to go. Now let's put our primer back in place. There's lots of reasons why I like to reload. One is accuracy. I can control the accuracy. Number two is the cost. If you enjoy shooting and you shoot often, reloading will pay for itself many times over and keeping the price down. And number three, it's very self-gratifying when you can make your own bullet, your own cartridge, and then go out and harvest an animal that you're going to feed your family with. Reloading to me is much like the fly fisherman that goes out and makes his own fly and catches a trout with it. We'll place that down on the top, take our blunt tool, slide it into the resizing tool. We're going to wrap it just a few times. You can actually feel it and hear it when it settles. You can see that we have the new primer put in place now. Let's take the casing back loose. There we go. Now we're ready for the powder and the bullet. Put that back on top of the casing. We have three choices of bullets that we can use here today. We've got the 75 or 70 grain polymer tip. We've got an 85 grain hollow point and we've got a 100 grain with a lead tip. And what we're gonna do is go ahead and load up the 85 grain hollow point. Let's take a little bit of powder here. My father has used a 243 all his life. As a matter of fact, he bought his 243 while he was in service as a teenager in Europe. He walked into the gun store one day and saw the gun up on the rack and told the gentleman that if that's a 270, he just sold the gun. The guy laughed and said, no, he said it's a 243. Dad asked to see it anyway. And he said as soon as he shouldered the gun, he fell in love with it and knew that that was the gun for him. Growing up, my father always used a 243 and he always hit what he shot at. He hunted everything from varmints to coyotes, to deer, to wild pigs, you name it. If he got it in the crosshairs, it usually went down. Tap it down. And voila, we've got a 243, 85 grain hollow point ready to deer hunt. You can't get much simpler than that. The kit's about $25 if you're going into the back country and you're limited on space and how much gear that you can carry. And with airline restrictions today, 
you can get into camp, stop off and get you a pound of powder or whatever you need, and you can make your own ammunition right there in the field. If you've not tried reloading, give it a shot. I think you'll find it very rewarding. Folks, pencils have erasers for a reason. Everybody makes mistakes, and sometimes it's important that you take the bullet back out. Maybe you've loaded up a bunch and now you're wanting to change sizes or powders or whatever. There's a very easy way to get the bullet back out. A bullet puller is just what it says. It's going to pull the bullet. We're going to slide that in. That'll hold it firmly in place. Put on your safety glasses. And all you have to do is wrap it a few times and the bullet and the powder will come out into the tube. All right, there we go. All we have to do is take off the, the backing. Here's the empty casing with the primer still intact. There's the bullet and the powder. Everything can be reused.